Hey, y'all. Uh, while I confess I don't remember the exact date that I started streaming and YouTube and all that, it was roughly a month or so after Shadows and Beacons came out, which is which was Halloween weekend. So we'll call the we'll call this first week of December the anniversary, I guess. <laughs> Maybe, I don't know, maybe we'll just say this is end of year looking to next year. It, it, it's all about the same time, right? Anyway, so after about a year of doing this, it ended up being a lot more fun than I expected. And uh, I even made a few bucks, which helps justify doing this to my wife. <laughs> it helps. So um, anyway, let's get on with it, shall we? Uh, here's, here's where we're at numbers-wise. Uh, in May, when I did the last channel update, uh, my YouTube had 16 subscribers. At the time that I'm recording this, we are up to 76. In May, I had 51 followers on Twitch. I had just made affiliate. And at the time I'm recording this, we're up to 240. Uh, it's very hard for me to give numbers for me music-wise. Hold on. Look who wants to say hi again. She likes she likes just button in whenever she wants to. <laughs> Um, like I said, it, it's very hard for me to give numbers uh, as far as how my music is doing because it's so scattered. I mean, you've got Spotify, YouTube, YT Music, Apple Music, iTunes, Amazon's Amazon's got got a music service, TikTok. It's let's just say let's just say it's performed a little better than I expected it to, and overall, it's 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 very encouraging. I should also mention. Last in the last update that I did for um, the May update, I mentioned that I probably wasn't gonna do any new music in 2021. That wasn't that that ended up not being entirely true. If you've tuned into Ifrit's Twitch channel, that's Ifrit underscore XD. Um, I mean, not only is he a cool guy and you know good streamer but uh he commissioned me to do his sound alerts so anytime someone follows him or someone subscribes or someone donates bits or if someone raids him you'll hear a little sound cue those sound cues were done by yours truly so we ended up doing a little bit of music this year <laughs> despite the fact that i said i wasn't going to anyway so all the numbers are better, and they're going the right direction, but I'm not exactly setting the world on fire yet. But, I mean, look, I think it's a good start. I'm proud of it, I'm, and I'm having fun. So, uh, I mean, Hurricane Ida was a, was a setback in multiple ways. <laughs> my studio is still not fixed, and my internet, my internet is better. It's a little more reliable, but it's still not, um, it's still kind of flaky. And I'm still kind of nervous to bump it back up to 1080p, even though it appears to be better. We'll see. Hopefully, hopefully I'll be able to bump it back up. Um, I've been downscaling to 720 just to save a little bit of overhead since we were still dropping a lot of frames. But anyway, I'm keeping an eye on it. So let's talk about my plans going forward for 2022. Um, as far as Twitch is concerned, I think I'm going to keep going with the attitude of not paying too much attention to the numbers. Uh, I'm really happy that the number of long silences where nobody is talking seems to happen a lot less often. And I'd like that trend to continue. So I would say a goal that I would set for myself for Twitch would be, let's see if we can get those long silences to almost gone, if not completely gone. I mean, I don't know how many followers does it take for that to happen. Another five, another 10, another 50. Another hundred, another thousand. I I don't know, but uh, that's 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 what I'd like to see. Um, my approach to Twitch is going to be the same. So, um, and, and I like this approach for a number of different reasons. By the way, I approach I approach hitting that go live button, that, that start streaming button, the same way that I would approach, or that I did approach stepping on stage in my band years. If I have personal shit going on in my personal life, I try to check that at the door. I just try to leave it there. People pay money to see me back then. Some of you pay money to see me now. <laughs> we'll get to that in a minute, but uh, you want to have a good time? I want you to have a good time. 
So I tr so and I haven't always succeeded at at doing that, but I think overall I'm getting better at that, and I think uh, I think we're gonna keep that attitude and that approach going forward. I just think it's better for everyone. I even even if I am in a bad mood before stream, I'm usually in a better mood after. So it works out for everybody. Um, I am aware that my channel point redeem game is pretty weak. Um, I will mention I, I I've temporarily maybe permanently or I retired the D20 of death list. Um, and I should explain why. Number one, it's not like it got used all that much. But number two, uh, more often than not, it was a disruption more than it was adding to the show. Sometimes it would add. And those were fun moments. But more often than not, it just slowed things down. It, it would interrupt a conversation or something else would... It, it, it just you'd have a flow going and then it would just stop and i i really didn't like that so that's why i've i've th that's why i've pulled it at least for now I, I mean i still have it it's still saved to my desktop but for now um for now at least temporarily we're going to go ahead and just uh put that away for a little bit but uh, if you have some suggestions as to um what i could make some channel point redeems feel free to drop them in my discord or i mean there's all kinds of ways to get in touch with me. Uh, let's see. My approach to YouTube. Uh, this is also going to stay stay, <clears throat> stay the same. There we go. Words. <laughs> um, I'm not going to commit to a certain amount of videos per month. Like, oh, I'm going to put out X amount, uh, one video a week or two. No, no, no. When I have it, I bring it. If, if I'm not going to force it. If, if, if I don't have something that, that I think is entertaining, I'm not just going to put something out for the sake of putting something out. Uh, I think that's a good approach for me, and I think I, it's it it seems to be working out. So we're we're gonna we're we're gonna keep that going. Um, as far as games, what can you expect to see? Well, uh, we just wrapped New Vegas. Uh, that was a lot of fun, by the way. That was definitely a highlight for me uh, of this past year. Um, as far as what's gonna take that Monday slot for now, we're gonna do some Wheel of Time stuff with Condor. I think Chef's going to be coming around. It, it's super late for him on Monday's win, so we'll see. Hopefully he can keep coming, and if not, then, you know, we'll figure something out. But, yeah, a lot of Wheel of Time stuff while the show is active. When the show ends, then I'm going to have another decision to make. Um, and all if it sounds like I'm, I'm I'm skirting around the issue, it's because there's there's a music comp. The, the music part of this is when I get to that section, everything that led into it is going to make a whole lot of sense. Bear with me. We're getting there. We're getting there. Uh, there is a poll going on in my Discord. I think right now uh, Pathfinder is winning. I was um, as far as like what I'm gonna end up playing next. It's probably it. I'd like to play. There's so many games. There's so many games that I want to play. And the reality of the matter is, there's just only so much time in the week. So anyway, uh, stay tuned. Uh, but yeah, the, the current plan right now is Mondays are gonna become Wheel of Time. And as far as the rest, uh, you're gonna see a lot more Hunt. Shocker. <laughs> I'm still playing a lot of console hunt. I'm still playing a lot of PC hunt. I'm starting to get a little more comfortable on PC too. Um, I'm not going to say that I'm completely there. I will say that the past few play sessions that I've done, I'm starting to feel a little more comfortable. I'm starting to feel a little bit more confident and I'm not getting rattled as much. Um, what do I mean by that? It's just, it, it's, it's, there's, there, there's, there's differences between PC and console hunt. The reality of the matter is I have 2,000 hours in console hunt. I've got like 250 hours in PC hunt. And I think when you watch me play either, I think it shows. But I, but I do think I'm improving. And hopefully in the, uh, in the coming videos, um, the future videos, hopefully, that, hopefully that'll start to show. We'll see. I'm having fun and I'm meeting cool people. Hard to argue with that. Win-win. Uh, let's see. So let's... Let's talk music. This is where this is where I need to justify some changes that are about to about to come and warn you that there may be some more changes coming. So uh the let's see. I wanted look, I wanted to give Twitch and YouTube a full solid year, and I think I've done that. But we're gonna have to make some changes going forward in order to accommodate uh well, let's just get this announcement out of the way. It's not really that big of an announcement. I think I've pretty much stated it outright more than once. I hope to release a new album in 2022. 
So yeah, changes need to happen that are going to affect me on Twitch and they're going to affect me on YouTube in order to help make that happen. Um, if you haven't seen me hanging out as much in other people's Twitch chats, by the way, uh, this is why, because album production is starting to ramp up. And uh, I mean, it, it's, it's, it, look, it's just, a, it's, it's simple math. I have X amount of hours that I can spend doing Twitch, YouTube, music. And uh, if I'm doing, or, or hanging out in someone else's chat. And so if I want to do more music, it, it pretty much has to take away from the other three. It just has to. So if it looks, if it feels like I've disappeared, like if, like if you haven't seen me hanging out in someone's chat or, you know, if you're one of those people who I stream with or that I hang out in your chat and you're wondering why I'm not around as much. No, it's not nothing personal. Uh, I just, I, I, I can only describe the amount of work that's in front of me as a mountain. It is a ton of work and I really do mean a ton of work. So, um, yeah. So, okay. Let's, let's move on. I, I, I think you get the idea. Uh, there was a plan A when I first started thinking about the new album. This was back in January-ish, I think. Anyway, plan A involved writing songs. I don't want to say based on, well, I guess you could say like based, based on other streamers. And it became real clear that in order to do that project justice, if I was really going to put something, I mean, I mean, sure, I could just take a random song and say, this is a song for this person. That, that's, that wouldn't, that's not doing the project justice. That's, 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 that's taking the shortcut. And I, 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 I don't take shortcuts. So if I was going to do that, it was going to take too long. It was going to take way too long. And there's no way that a 2022 release date was going to be practical or even possible without, well, without completely withdrawing from Twitch and YouTube. And that's just something that I'm really trying not to do. Um, there were a couple of songs that made it further along than others in that phase. One of them, I think, might make the final release. Maybe. We'll see. It might not. Some more time has to pass. Like it's, it, it's, 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 if, if it seems like I'm talking in non-committal terms, it's because I'm still very much in the early phases and there's still a lot that I'm not sure of, but I think one of them is going to make it. Hopefully. Um, and look, don't make this awkward for me. Okay. It, it, it's don't ask me who, who, who the streamers are. Don't ask me who they aren't. I'm not telling. Don't ask me who I had planned and who I didn't. I'm not telling. And I think you can understand why just because, you know, it, 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 it could make things really, really awkward, but that was plan A. And look, Further down the line, there's there's nothing that says I can't do that, you know, for a future release. And I still may. We'll see. Um, so plan A clearly wasn't going to work, and I needed a plan B. And plan B is my cat walking across my mixer as I'm recording. She's being really disruptive today. Anyway, plan B was, uh, you know what, maybe I'll do an album full of collaborations. The problem with that plan is the same as plan A. It requires me to do a lot of work from scratch. And um, there's just a big time investment in it. So similar to plan A, there are a couple of songs that are in progress from that idea. And I think those songs have a good chance of making it to the final release. Um Chances are people who know me pretty well can guess at least one of them. <laughs> but again, I, I don't want to commit because I don't know what the future holds. I, it's, it's, so anyway, anyway, it, it, it was really clear I needed a plan C. So plan C had to fix the problems from plan A and plan B. And what I came up with, and I was really thankful that this panned out, um, I did a lot of work. I did a lot of work with a solo game dev on a game that never came out. Well, ha let me rephrase that. It hasn't come out yet. I'm still hopefully that one day it will. I think he's still working on it. I'm, I'm going to touch base with him again soon. Um, but I messaged him and I said, hey, because um, uh, he paid me for this work. Um, I messaged him. I said, hey, look, I've got like 60 something, sixty over 60 songs that are in various stages of being finished. Most of them aren't finished. 
But I was like, I'd like to use uh, to pull from some of this material to use for this album because number one, I'm gonna, you know, if you decide that you want to release, I'm gonna have to go in and update them anyway. Uh, number two, this will help me get more stuff, uh, more stuff out more quickly. Uh, which you know, if you know, if my clout raises and people know, you know, let's just say, you know, you know, people find out, oh, I like Nick's music. Well, Nick worked on a game. So they're going to be interested in a game. He he gets it. He gets how that works. And he he was completely on board. He's like, yeah. He's like, yeah, dude, t t take whatever you want. Use whatever you want. And, um, you know, I mean, like I said, I'm going to have to write new stuff for him anyway. So he was really cool about it. So this is where, when I hit this point in planning, this this was, th that, that conversation happened, I want to say about two months ago, something like that. After that conversation, I was like, okay. I felt a little more confident in saying a 2022 release is going to be possible. Why? Because I can pull from a giant, a giant, pull from a giant pull, I guess. <laughs> a giant, I, I have a big library of stuff that I've already done. So, so it, it, it eliminates that first part. The fact that, you know, starting from scratch and having to conceptualize and do all that stuff. So it gives me a, a starting point that's a little further along. Now they have to be updated. There's still a lot of work to do. I'm not, it's, it's, it's still a lot of work. But that amount of work, I think, is doable as opposed to, you know, doing something from like literally starting from nothing. If I was starting from nothing, there's just no way I could get that. I, I, not, not, not the way that I want to. There's just no way I would have been able to get it done uh, w within the span of, of a year. So that's going to be. So, so like I said, so this next album is going to be basically it's going to be a combination of all, of all those three things. There's going to be hopefully something from all. Of it. We will see. Again, I don't want to be like too early committal, but that's my plan. That's my plan. That's where we're going. So, um, let's see. As far as from what you can expect it to sound like, I mean, look, Shadows and Beacon. Shadows and Beacon sounds like like music written for a video game because at the time that I wrote it, the idea was I wanted to write an album that could possibly get me more video game composer work. I've worked, you know, as I said, you know, I've said multiple times, I've, I I worked on a lot of video games that never came out, and again, I mean. It's nice to get paid, but you want people to hear your stuff. You want you want people to enjoy it. That's the whole. I mean, for me, that's the whole point. So, for this album, um, well, let's just say I found I found out that I'm kind of fond of working for myself. <laughs> Imagine that, right? So, the idea for this album is I want it to tr hopefully sound like a natural extension or progression. From from where I was, I wanted to. Hopefully, it'll sound a little more organic. I mean, there's still going to be a lot of sense. And if you liked what I did on Shadows and Beacons, I think you're going to like how this one's shaping up too. Um. Uh, and I, I'd see. Currently, I'd say I have got I've got two songs that I would say I've got a pretty good idea of what they're going to sound like when they're finished. I want to release with somewhere between six songs and ten, and real, really, probably closer, probably closer to eight, something similar. I mean, I know I think a lot of the market research says like you're you're better off with you doing smaller releases these days. But I mean, this is one spot where I mean, call me, yeah, yeah, yeah you know, maybe I'm a little old fashioned, but I like the idea of an album being nine to ten songs, and I like the idea of of it flowing from one to the other. I like that album cohesion. I still like all that stuff. So I'm still, I guess I'm still trying to keep that in my crosshairs um, as a goal. But again, you know, I'll, I'll pivot as needed. I really want, want, I really want to get this album out and I want it to be good and I want people to like it. So anyway, so there you go. That's my, that's my 2022 goals. So I'm going to see, let's talk about, I don't do this very often, and I'm not going to make a habit of doing it. Uh, first off, I want to be really clear. You should never feel obligated to spend money on me, especially if you're in hard times. Uh, there's that old proverb, you know, don't set yourself on fire to warm your neighbor. If you're in bad financial shape, don't send me money. I have a day job. It pays me well enough. 
my kids have food on the table, it's going to be okay. <laughs> okay. And, and quite frankly, you can support me in a lot of different ways without spending a dime. You don't have to spend a dollar to do the, well, the things that I'm about to tell you. Okay. Uh, let's see. Um, on YouTube, every view, every like, every subscribe, every comment, all of that helps. It all helps. On Twitch, every follow helps. Every lurker helps. You don't have to participate in chat if you don't want to. Don't get me wrong. I, you know, I, I like it when people participate in chat. But if you either don't want to, or if you just want to show me some support, you can just lurk. And just, and just in case those, uh, for those of you who aren't familiar, if you do lurk and you want to be counted as a viewer, uh, you can't mute the video player. You have to mute the tab either in Chrome or Firefox. I don't know why it works that way. That's just how it works. So, um, music wise, uh, look, Shadows and Beacons is available everywhere. Um, if you could throw one or more of my songs into a playlist, if you like it, you know, you know, give them a give them a full listen through every now and again. That's a tremendous help. It's a huge help. Um, on some of the streaming services, uh, uh, I might I might be behind a paywall, and that stinks. But I don't really have any control over that. Um, anyway. But if, if life is finding you well and you want to send me a few bucks, um, you can purchase Shadows and Beacons on Bandcamp. That's the best place to purchase it. I've been asked multiple times, where's the best place to buy it? Bandcamp is the best. Um, I will have that linked below. I have it listed as a dollar a track, or you can spend seven bucks and get all nine tracks. I will also mention there is an option that you can act, you could pay more for it if you like, and some of you have been very generous and have done that. Um, you can subscribe on Twitch. That also helps. Um, currently, I don't have a direct donation link or a Patreon. It just doesn't seem like the right time for that right now. We'll see if things go well uh, for the rest of the year. Maybe uh, maybe I'll do, may, maybe we'll consider it. But for now, for now, that's where we're at. So. Anyway, sincere thank you to everyone who supported me over the last year. Um, we we we've hit some goals, but we have but I've got more goals, bigger goals. I want to keep growing and I want to keep getting better. I'm going to go ahead and put a scroll over here of everyone who's been generous enough to share screen time with me over the last year. I hope I didn't leave anyone out. I'm going to list them by their official Twitch name or YouTube name. So please search them out and check them out. Look, I'm grouped with them for a reason. You might like them too. <laughs> Thank you again for all the support. Thank you for all of, you know, look, all, all of the subscribers, all of the listeners, all of the, all the people who have, you know, all the people who have just come to hang out, even if you just lurked, you're helping, you're, you're, uh, you're putting a smile on my face. Okay. <laughs> all right. I've, uh, I've, I've babbled enough. Okay. That's it. And, uh, I got a lot of work to do y'all. So I'm going to go get started. See you soon.